Good morning everybody, Keto for Real Life People here, it's Nancy and I'm popping in on a Sunday. I wasn't going to, obviously you can see I've not got any hair or makeup or any of that sort of stuff on. Um, this afternoon we're going to be heading over to my son's and my daughter-in-law's house and everybody's going to be gathering and uh, doing a cookout and getting together. Oh, I'm going to put this on here so I can see if anybody's in here. Oh, la, la. oh, there I am. This afternoon, we're going to be heading over to... How do I shut myself up? I turn it down. Oh, la, la. oh, there I am. There we go. There we go. Okay. So, anyway. I have thought to myself. All right, guys. I told my husband Thursday. I was like, I've got to... You know, I, I plan on getting my fresh start officially August 1st. I told you guys I would be popping in. I'd kind of be telling you what I'm doing. So um, I, what I'm doing is I'm trying to figure out my plan. So before I get started on this, guys, sit back. It's going to be a little bit of a ride. I want to talk to you about when keto no longer works for you, and it could be for medical reasons. It could be your age. It could be your hormones. Uh, you might have dropped, you know, 50, 60, 70, 80 pounds, 100 pounds, and you're done with your journey. You have not been able to do anything different for, you know, six months to a year to two years. Nothing's happening. You might even be gaining weight. And if, if you were gaining weight, and that again could be due to menopause or other factors, but it's no longer working. So that I have established. Y'all know I've been going on and on about it. Good morning, Tony, Nancy, Joanna. Hi, I see you guys popping in. So what I'm doing is I'm kind of going back to an approach that I did many, many years ago. I want to say 2011-ish definitely somewhere around 2011. Before uh, I ever knew about keto, before gluten intolerance was a thing, it was just kind of coming out, I had been experiencing problems that were just terrible. Rita, thank you for the stars, I appreciate it. Thank you, shout out to Rita. Um, and I was talking to Miss Sharon, our admin, about it, and uh, I said, you know, it was simple. She goes, was it doable? I said, it was so doable. Uh, not only did I drop a ton of weight when I did this gluten elimination diet, uh, and it was of my own making, honestly, <laughs> uh, but I felt wonderful. And so, here comes the old husband to interrupt. I told him I was doing this live, so. Anywho, um, so what I did, I have read in like Woman's World magazine, y'all ever do that? That you could eliminate gluten and drop 20 pounds. Girls, I lost 30 pounds in 30 days. Crazy, right? But I didn't follow the guidelines. What I found interesting about the article was how uh, people, more people were gluten, and sens gluten sensitive than they, they realized. And, and then there was a list of symptoms and I was like, that's me. Uh, the extreme swelling and bloating. I, w I didn't have the weight loss from like celiacs, but painful joints, inflammation, uh, acid reflux, uh, just countless symptoms. So here's what I did, and this is what I'm doing now. Um, with the onset of keto not doing its thing with me, um, and everything that I've tried not really showing me any results, I have determined that Right now, I just don't want to be in pain. I don't want to gain any more weight. And uh, I don't want to be, literally, I just want to stop being bloated and having acid reflux again. So here's what I'm doing. I'm meal prepping today. We're going to this barbecue today. I'm sure they're gonna, you know, they're gonna have good proteins, but they're also gonna have a lot of sides and things that aren't good for me. Of course, you know how it is. Life happens, right? So I went to the store yesterday to get this all done. I'm, and really kick it off for myself for the next couple of weeks and an event comes up where uh, you know you're like uh oh what do I do well this is what I'm gonna do I bought chicken yesterday chicken breast I am eating higher protein which is highly recommended right now uh, if you are in this same boat 
raising your protein, lowering your fats, and still keeping your carbs low to moderate, moderately low, okay? I'm not zero carbing it. And I'm gonna be adding a few things in here that, um, you know, frankly, aren't keto. Maybe, maybe only one or two items, but they're in the form of vegetable or fruit. So, um, uh, here we go. So I started out, I went to the store. I'm on a very, very strict budget, you guys. I was blessed with a package of chicken that was going to expire today, so they marked it down yesterday to half price. So uh, I got some chicken breasts for like a whole family pack size for $4.57. And quick t t tip on doing your chicken, um, I've got this tablet, let me see here, if I can move it back a little bit so that it's not in your line of view here. What I do when I'm going to grill or pound out chicken is, I use these freezer bags, the little quart size, and I put each breast in individually. Um, as you can see here, they're all nice and flat. When you pound your chicken out, or any protein for that matter, when you pound it out, you break it down, it makes it super tender. It tenderizes it, as well as allows for more even cooking and faster cooking times, all right? So I left one for you guys. As you can see, it's just right here. They're big, they're fat, they're thick. And I just do this. I have this awesome pounder. This is, I bought this like three or four years ago uh, from a Pampered Chef party. And it is heavy. And I love this uh, meat pounder tenderizer because it does double duty. I just wanna show you, I don't have a link, so please don't ask me. Um, it comes with this little uh, silicone ring that just kind of fits in there like that around the base, like that. And you can either use this side that has the little spikes for tearing and uh, aerating your meat, or you can just do the flat, smooth side, which I'm doing. And you could just reverse it. Make sure your little ring is sitting on there, like the, oops, like that. Spin it down. And you're good for go. It's so smooth. And what I do, like I said, is I leave the bag open. Don't zip it or anything because you don't want it to explode on you or tear. And just, uh, can you see that? Yes, you can. Okay. And just go at it. And you can pound it out to any thickness you want. See, I still popped a little seam here, but I'm keeping everything kind of like from cross-contaminating. I'm gonna be using this cutting board and I really just don't want it there. So now I've got some chicken. That one's still a little thick, but I'm gonna call it good. Next, I'm going to make a marinade. Can you guys see this? Do you see this? This is what I'm doing. To, to drop a few pounds. Guys, I hit my 240s. I'm almost 100% back to the, to the weight I was when I started keto. And it's like you can't slow it down. Believe it or not, this is not so bad, but when I eat gluten, it is even worse. Like I'm out to here. So I've been off of gluten 100% since Thursday. And that is just because I went to the store and got some things that, you know, I was out of vegetables. I have been out of everything. And we've been eating a lot of just cheap stuff. And so here's what we're doing. Rita, you're in, you're out, you're in, you're out. <laughs> it says Rita's watching, Rita's watching, Rita's watching. Um, uh, the AIP diet, it would, I think it would help you immensely. I'm not sure what it is, but I will tell you, I've had so many people say, check this diet out, check that out. It will help you, it will help you. And quite honestly, I would love to do anything that would truly help. Um, but you know, here's the thing, guys. All diets have something in common. They're just that, a diet. As we, as you all know, you know, I said this is my journey. It's, it's a way of life. Um, along my way of life, along my journey, you know, things are changing for me, obviously. Um, and so I'm trying to figure it out. I want to make sure that whatever it is that I choose to do is what uh, healthy uh, it has to be able to help me control my 
cravings for junk, sugar, and unnecessary carbs. Um, because those are the, those that is my biggest I think downfall how many of you uh, would love to be able to eat fresh more variety of fruits and vegetables or maybe to have healthy legumes like beans or um, you know something of that nature or sweet potato and say well wow, if I eat that it's gonna send me down a path of destruction because once I eat that then I'm gonna devour you know the potato chips McDonald's, the ice cream in the fridge, you know, whatever it is. So I wanna be able to do something that helps me control those cravings that I get. But I also want to be able to live sustainably. I would prefer to eat mostly clean, you know, I, I don't have an issue with the occasional treat so long, again, as it doesn't circle me back to going off plan and losing my ever-loving mind and getting back into the eating disorder thing. So I, I'm, I, I'm on a slippery slope. I want to point something out to you guys. Okay, I washed my hair yesterday, and even though I haven't really paid attention to what I'm doing, whether I'm on plan or whether I'm off plan, uh, one thing that I have noticed with reintroducing carbs, whether they were good or whether they were bad, is the fact that I have no product in my hair whatsoever, but my hair has started regrowing again and filling in over the last few months. Um, is that a coincidence, do you think? How many women, and I mean, I know there are tons. I have read in other groups. I've seen it in carnivore. I've seen it all across of women and saying, love, love, love keto, but I'm losing my hair and no matter what I do, it just keeps falling out. And y'all know that has been an issue, which I think part of it was keto, but I also think part of it was my hormones. But for those of you who aren't even near that area of your life and losing your hair, um, it, I think that taking out huge food groups uh, for forever is not beneficial. I'm just going to say it, guys. I'm just going to say it. There may be some of you go, hey, you're not keto, so we're not following you anymore. Well, you know, it is what it is. But after dealing with this for years and, and truly, you know, I lost all of my weight in the first year and a half. My second year of keto was just kind of, you know, trying to figure out you know where I'm at but being happy going into my third year of keto as I was getting ready to approach it is when the weight gain started for me and things started happening so I'm doing what I need to do for me Nancy is your daughter still doing pamper chef I have a couple of items I would like to get I think she does have links I know she's not been active with it because her job is so demanding her you know real job is uh, really demanding but she's coming from West Texas and will be here later this afternoon so I will ask her about that for you if that'll work out um, hello have you heard of protein modified fast with a as a tool yes I know it's more gimmicky stuff right I I, should I read it? Should I say, okay, so you're gonna just, you know, eat so much protein and then you're gonna fast and you're gonna, guys, I'm, I'm for it. I'm for tools that will help me do it. But I am more in, interested right now in a way of eating that feels natural and that I don't have to constantly fight for. I'm sorry, but I'm just at that stage. I, but I appreciate all the advice, and when I get chance, I do look up all of these things you guys recommend. I just get through them as I come across, you know, as I have time. Uh, Joanne said, I lost 90 on keto two years ago. Over the last year, I gained 50 back. I'm having the same problem as you, trying to lose what I gained back. And for those of you who have not hit this area of your keto journey, for those of you who have no issues whatsoever, I'm so thankful for you for going through that and you are blessed but I would say that I think it's like almost a 50 50 split if you ask 50% of women how how they love keto how keto works for them you're gonna say though you're gonna see those who are just like this is great man I lost all my weight I've been keto for four or five years everything's honky-dory and then you ask the other 50% and they're like well you know it was great at first and I lost a bunch of weight but then it just stopped and then it just started doing this and this and this and this and this and no matter what I do it doesn't work anymore so I think there is that. 
for real. I'm not, I have not a doubt in my mind. So I just wish I had known that that was coming and that I was in that group. Because <laughs> if I'd have known ahead of time, I would have, um, I would have been ready for it. Like I'm going to lose X amount of weight, then I'm going to switch gears. I'm going to raise that protein. I'm going to lower that fat. I'm going to incorporate a few more things into my diet to balance it out and make sure that, you know, I'm thriving. That's what the goal is. You want to thrive on your way of eating. And girls, for those of you like myself, you know you have not been thriving. All right, let's, let's do some stuff. So what I'm doing is I don't want to be outside. I've got dogs out there in a kennel. We're doing doggy duty. Celix is working on the yard. I brought in my indoor grill. I got this Simple Living product sent it to me. I don't have an affiliate link with them anymore either. They have different things going on. But I don't like it for steaks because you cannot control the temperature. You basically got on and off, <laughs> high and low. So, but it's good for like kebabs and chicken and hot dogs and burgers and, and things like that. It uses infrared heat. Um, oh, I shouldn't do that just yet. That, that's heating up quickly. I'm going to save on my dishes. I'm just going to throw together like a little bit of a marinade. I'm watching my fats. I'm using mainly avocado oil and olive oil are my two main fats right now. I am trying to go easier on butter, high fat dairy. I'm changing things radically. So I'm just gonna take some olive oil. And don't ask me all, just if you looked at it, that's probably about mm, almost about a third of a cup, between a quarter and a third. Uh, this is gonna be slathered over about three pounds of chicken. So it's not like you're gonna be eating it. I have to watch my fat now. I'm gonna add some Bragg's, just to add some salt in there, maybe liquid aminos, and I'm just gonna Eyeball it again, two or three tablespoons for some flavoring. I like the way it does. Um, your, your marinades, guys, are basically an oil, a, a salty uh, type of thing, and an acidic. So I'm gonna use some uh, lemon juice, it's what I've got on hand. And after that, it's up to you what flavor you want. I love how it separates. So about equal parts soy sauce, I call it soy sauce, but you know what I mean. These little coconut amino things. Now I've got that all mushy. I've got some cilantro that we had tacos the other night. So I'm gonna go with that right there. I'm gonna just kind of maybe do a pinch full, probably in one or two tablespoons of fresh chopped cilantro. And then to save time and keep this simple because it's just a marinade, I am going to have these uh, salt-free vegetable seasoning. It's just chopped vegetables. It's got onion, garlic, bell pepper, um, thyme, basil, tomato, corn. Uh, well, it does have corn maltodextrin. Sorry for that. I didn't know that. But damn, I don't want to use that one. Maybe that's why it's still full. Drop the lid. So let me choose something along the lines of this. What do we have? Greek. I'll go Greek. So this is no salt, no sugar, no non-GMO, and gluten-free. Uh, it has uh, Mediterranean oregano, onion powder, garlic powder, black pepper, parsley. That'll work and uh, cinnamon and ground nutmeg. Ooh, we'll go easy on it. Just whatever flavoring you want to, to it. This is the brand um, by Wholesome Provisions. They have a whole line of seasonings. It's uh, Rebel Roots. Smells delicious. So I'm just gonna eyeball it just like that. Hello, have you heard of protein? Okay, we got that. I think because keto changes your body from within, you have to change your eating over time. Anyway, it's a double, it's double challenge when your body changes from keto and hormones too. Yeah, it makes sense, it does. Okay, so now I'm just gonna just give this a squishy squish. 
And then I'm going to give it a taste to see if it needs anything different than what I've done. I'm going to add a little bit more lemon juice, just a titch. It tastes really good, actually. I like the flavor profile. And now, guys, you can just basically plop your chicken into this. And I'm keeping my board clean because I don't want to contaminate my cooking, my cutting board. Now, of course, with marinades, 15 minutes is what they say minimum to you to do. Um, longer is fine, uh, 24 hours or so, however long you want. The longer you marinate something, uh, usually the tender and more flavorful because it gets to penetrate your meat. But you can also quick time this. So what I'm gonna do ooh, is get this last piece to come out. So I don't wanna touch it. Now I have it all up in this bag. And you see, that was not, I didn't have to make a lot of marinade uh, to get the result. Now I really want to let all as much air out of this as possible, seal it, and kind of work that marinade throughout this meat. As you can see, it, it does do the job it needs to do. It kind of coats everything. You could easily cut this up into strips if you wanted to do chicken strips. There we go. So now I'm gonna let that sit for a minute. Put it over here. Whoop, make sure it's closed. All right. I still got a piece of chicken on my counter down. Dang it, dang it. It was just a teeny tiny piece. All right. Now then, let me grab a bowl. Let me see if I have my, my handy dandy bowl here for catching scraps. All right, so the next thing that I would do is I'm gonna get my veg and stuff done. So here's what I did in a nutshell 11 years ago. I would start my morning with a slim fast shake. Little did I know about all the sugar and the bad ingredients in it. It was convenient, number one. I had to go to work and it was my commute breakfast. It had some protein and it did me in, okay? So I I would have a shake, so that's all I needed to know. I hurt my knee yesterday. Number two, I was eating the rainbow. The only thing that I ever did as far as research, because frankly the internet was still coming into its own all those years ago, was really study the food pyramid. Standard American diet, right? One thing that I did agree with was that you should eat lots of fruits and vegetables. Uh, I know all the keto naysayers are out there going, no, you don't need that, but I loved it. I am a type of person who thrives on plants and I'm not against meat. <laughs> It seems like there's a battle line drawn on the subject of, do you need these fruits and vegetables or are they the devil too? Um, so, I would load my refrigerator where I worked weekly. I This was my meal prep, so to speak. I would grab baby spinach, spring mix, romaine, and I would do a lot of greens. Totally keto, right? Yes. Next thing I would do is I would buy a container of mushrooms. I would buy fresh broccoli florets, cucumbers, um, tomatoes, carrots, peppers, the rainbow. I was picking rainbow flavors, tomatoes, that I liked. So every single day, without fail, I would eat all of those vegetables at lunchtime. And to that, I would add, you guessed it, chicken. I didn't get sick of it, by the way. I enjoyed it every single day. Uh, people were looking at me that I worked with at the time, my coworkers, and they're like, oh my God, that's a huge plate of food. In 2011, what was I, 41, 42? 
Uh, I mean, it was a while ago. How old am I now? 56? What year is it? 21? <laughs> so I was closer to 46, 45, 46. All right, I was a little older. That definitely puts me in that perimenopause range, right? So anyway, I like taking my skin off of here. I just prefer it. I love cucumber as long as they don't have that tough skin. So I would do that. I would eat all of those vegetables. I would have chicken. And then I would do about two ounces-ish, if I did a little more, not much more, of a salad dressing or dipping sauce. So I would eat that every single day, just Monday through Friday. That was all, just Monday through Friday. It wasn't like I did it seven days a week. Believe it or not, I did different things. So I'm just gonna cut this up. And I'm just gonna pop it into a baggie. So now I have my cucumbers ready for the week. And done and done. Um, when I was doing this, y'all, I wouldn't even grill my own chicken. I would just buy it pre-cooked. I would buy Tyson's um, grilled chicken tenders or chicken breasts. They were already pre-cooked. Again, convenience for me was very important. I didn't have time to do all the cooking that I love to do. Um, and it worked. So I would prep it. I also did carrots. Oh my God, I have so much sugar. No, not really. They're not gonna spike me that much. And I'm gonna be eating other vegetables and fruits that uh, kind of help balance it out. So I'm not eating a carrot fest. But I would put a little handful of these, about a quarter cup. I wasn't eating full servings, mind you, of this because I was eating so many vegetables. I would, well, you'll see what it looks like. We'll figure out how much it is. Um, bell pepper strips, we'll just move on to those. If you like peppers, you can get these done. You can just chew them, crunch them down. But these guys, these are full of um, beautiful beta carotenes. They're, they're high in vitamin C. They're, they're delicious. Of course, they're keto. Mine are getting a little bit almost to that point where, hey, you might want to use them in something. But I shall. I shall use them. I could even put this in my marinade if I wanted to. So, so far, are you following me, guys? I think because, can, da, 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 da. let's see. I don't know what's up with Rita's thing, but it's just showing Rita is watching over. Like a hundred times it says Rita is watching. I don't know what's up, Rita. <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> are you doing anything? But you just want to make these into slices. You, or, you know, just strips, whatever. These are great for dipping or just laying across anything. I hear myself, that's weird. Huh, okay, down we go. Again, we can just, I'm eating the rainbow. This one is just a little wrinkly, but we'll put it there. So I like them. I like them in strips, just like that. Again, I'm just gonna take a baggie, and now I have my veg done. I can I can rotate. I can put this all on my salad, but I'm fixing to show you what it looks like all all said and done because I'm making one to go with me to the cookout today. So I'm gonna get this thing going hot. I have allowed that to sit long enough, so by the time this is ready, I should be able to start grilling my chicken. Um, I like red onion, so I'm gonna do a little bit of red onion. And I'm gonna leave this side of it on. What did I do with that bowl? I, I have that bowl, and then I moved that bowl. Oh well, life goes on. And 
I'm just gonna take one of these and I'm gonna do it into very thin uh, rings. That way they're done again for the week. I should just grab that thing of um, baggies. Because baggies make everything, so you're not filling your fridge up with, I'm just grabbing the whole thing. So that you're not filling your fridge up with a whole bunch of containers. So I'm gonna move that there. Maybe that's why I did it. But I'm gonna go with the thin slices here. That way I can add them. They add so much flavor to your food. I like mine nice and thin. There we go. Again, just into a baggie. Now to save a little money, tomatoes. Um, I have a few of the grape tomatoes left from the last time I bought them. I need to use them up, so I'm gonna use them today. But to save a little, a few dollars, um, rule of thumb, you can eat a whole tomato. This one, I would consider this a serving, all right? So, because if you were to take this one little Roma tomato, and you were to grab a handful of tomatoes, okay, guess what? They're about the same. They're very proportionate. So know that if you don't have the grape tomatoes, grab Aroma tomatoes. They're inexpensive and they're easy and they're so good for you. The word that comes to mind is lycopene. I think that's what their, their strong suit is. So, all right, moving on guys. I bought mushrooms that are already sliced up and I opened the package last night um, because I made a marinara, a spaghetti sauce. So I've got sliced mushrooms ready. Uh, speaking of which, I told you guys that uh, this is what I was eating for the day, right? Well, I have my afternoon thing that I, I'm gonna, I'm getting to. Um, my afternoon, uh, I would eat another meal. So I was eating a shake a huge salad with some protein, uh, a meal around four or five, and then basically a light, light, occasionally light. There we go. This is gonna take a little bit because this thing is not fast, but I'm gonna get a couple going on here at a time. And we'll just watch it. It's not putting out a lot of heat, by the way, so I like that. But maybe that's why it's not going as quickly. All right, so for today's salad, I've got this cute little bento box that Miss Sharon sent me, and I love it. I've used it several times for several occasions. What I like about it is it has the bowl, it has a tray that's nice and deep, and then it has a container for liquids. So, or not, depending on what your, your needs are. So basically, y'all, what I'm doing is I bought a big container of the organic spring mix. I don't do a lot of organic because I can't afford it, but it was actually cheaper to buy this big container of spring mix for $4.96 versus the one that was half the size of this for the same $4.96. Walmart's prices are weird right now, y'all. So I, I, I looked out. So I'm just going to add like a handful of that and I like a little bit more crunch so I'm going to I'm gonna use my big bowl eventually and just put all this greens together but I also bought a little bit of iceberg lettuce because my husband loves it for his sandwiches and whatnot I like it because and you just need a little chunk I like it because it adds that little bit of crunch and freshness, that crispiness that I prefer when I'm eating salad. You can tear it, cut it, however you want to. I like to cut, there we go, into bite-sized pieces. Again, that's probably the same amount of iceberg as it was spring green. 
So you know that we've got probably two and a half, three cups right there of your salad. I like this because it's gonna keep it separate. We're good. Don't, oh, my husband. We're not going till after one o'clock, baby. Oh, okay. Maybe two even. He, was thought, he thought we were going early. All right. I know, I just let my hormones show, didn't I? Now then, if you want to, you can add some things here, but I, you know, I've got plenty of room to set this down here. But here's what, here's what it would be. Some tomatoes. I've got some mushrooms. I've got, I just do like this. This is what I do. Carrots. Uh, cucumbers, peppers, just whatever you want. Oh, onion. I want onion, but I don't need to put it up here. I'm going to just put a, just one little thing that I cut, just like that. That'll be on top of there. If you're not going, I, I suggest, I'm going to go ahead and put my mushrooms right there, and I'm going to break them into pieces. I wouldn't do this if you were prepping your salad for the week. Do your mushrooms to the side because they will get slimy in your lettuce. But for today, it'll it'll be good because it's going that direction. Again, you guys know my trick. I went to Walmart and I plucked off just the florets I wanted off the stock and I bought them. I saved half my money. And I'm going to do two of those. Just two of them. They're fresh. They're raw. They're good. And I'll break it down so that it fits like that and uh, let's see I think it's because menopause because of the night sweats joint pain I just started on some menopause tablets from Walmart hoping they help well you do have more aches and pains and things happening um, Without our hormones, things start degrading. That's all there is to it. I'm going to check this chicken. It can definitely get a little more. See, it just takes so long, this thing. I'm like, takes so long, this thing. All right. So, um, put those over there. Cha -cha -cha -cha. Oh, cucumbers. And I just chopped them. You can chop them thin, thick, whatever you want to. Hey, babe, how's it going? What you doing? Good. Just fixing that deck. Working on that deck. Our lawnmower went beep. So. All right. I've got some cucumber in there. And I will just take my, my uh, chicken when it's done. I'll put it in a baggie and, and just take it with me because I want high protein. Now, what am I gonna use for a dressing today? I don't have the stuff. And guys, because you're looking at lowering your fats, right? Now we're not going like, oh, I'll just grab some mayo and I'll grab some heavy cream and I'll take some cheese for full fat. I can't do that. It, it's really, uh, helps me gain weight when I eat high fat. So what I'm going to do is, I'm gonna have some of the chunky blue cheese, which I know is not, it's, it's, it is what it is. But I'm only gonna take a small amount, like so, and ooh, woo, 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 that did not have one of those little, it didn't have one of those little, little little pour spout things still look guys that's all there was in it right so i would fill one of these up for sure but i would like to use some frank's red hot because i kind of want that uh, chicken to have sort of a, a buffalo chicken flavoring so i'm going to just pour some of that on top of that and I'm gonna add some more blue cheese now because I wanna kind of fill this up. I'm gonna enjoy this fat that I'm gonna eat. I'm not zero fat in it, by the way. And I'll just get out my little, my little handy dandy chopsticks because I like them. They make great for stirring little things. 
and uh, I will just stir these two together, do a little swirl, get that flavor in there. You could add, do your own measurements on how much you like, thick or thin. Man, that's one of my favorite things. Mm. Blue buffalo is what I call it when I mix those two things together. And in it goes. Now then, guys, I have got my fork on top. I've got my little salad together. I am good for go. All I need is that. Now, I don't have to take chicken with me today. Firstly, because they're grilling chicken out at, at, at my son's house. So they're grilling hamburgers and hot dogs and chicken and steaks. Like the blank steaks or the flat ones. So those got some good little marks on them. I'm going to give that a turn. And there we go. Now times this or multiply it. Let's see if I can reach this bowl, this empty bowl. I like to take my big bowl. I bought this big bowl just for this purpose. And I like to get it out of the container that it came in and just put it in this. For me, it, it keeps it, it gives it a little more room to breathe and doesn't, so it doesn't go bad so quickly. So I like to do that. If you wanted to, at this point, mix in some romaine lettuce or whatever you want, you can go for that. I'm not going to because like I said, my husband likes to uh, enjoy the iceberg. That's his favorite lettuce. So, there we go. That can go in the fridge. Ugh. And as well as these vegetables now. Um, I can now grab them and go. They're in nice little bags. I need to put this broccoli in a fresh one though, because that little bag tore. But yeah. Easy to grab and go now. I don't have to stop and cut and chop and peel or anything like that. So, I will take these mushrooms. I'm not going to seal these mushrooms, y'all. They need a little air to breathe. So, I'm just going to, I'm just going to pop them in there like that. And I'm going to just only partially, just like that. They need to breathe a little bit. Okay, I'll set these guys over here and work with them in a little bit. And let me get a gallon bag for my broccoli. So I love doing it. People look at me weird when I'm at Walmart. They're like, what is that lady doing? I just stand there and I go to the fresh broccoli and I pull off the florets. I don't want that trunk. I noticed they started trying to trim them down a little bit, but I just grab different ones and I pick out my favorite looking florets. And then I take them to the register and guess what? They don't weigh near as much. So I save a few dollars or 50 cents. I don't know. Over time, I'm sure I've saved a few dollars doing it. So. And that bag just plain out shredded. So there's my broccoli. I'm going to eat all of this broccoli in five days. That's my goal. <clears throat> and you're like, okay, Nancy, what's, what's next? Well, what is next is this. I'm going to portion out my third meal. I'm going to do it for three days because I have three containers. Um, basically, here's what I was doing in the afternoon around 4 o'clock. I eat probably around 7 a.m., 11 a.m., and 4 p.m. That was, that was, uh, my schedule that I worked at. I, I, uh, would drink the shake on the way to work, and then around 11, between 11 and 12, I would take my lunch break, um, eat my big my big salad and my chicken. 
And then at four o'clock in the afternoon, guys, I would get the cottage cheese. I've got the cottage cheese. I do about a cup and maybe a cup and a half. We'll just, we'll just see what I, I eyeball it. So yeah, so a cup of cottage cheese. A cup of cottage cheese, guys, and I did buy the low fat one, this one. I got the fat free. Um, zero fat, um, six carbohydrates, 13 grams of protein, and that's for a half a cup. So this is 26 grams of protein for a cup. Okay, so again, you could get the higher fat if you want, but I'm not looking at it from a keto perspective. Keto will mess with your mind. Um, I'm, you wouldn't believe it. Everything you do now is going to be judged against keto. Oh my God. Oh my God. Oh my God. And I'm just going to be start saying, trust the process. Trust the process. See what happens. So, yep. Going to get some more of this. And to this bowl here. All I have to do is grab and go. I won't have to do what I'm doing right now every single day for the next few days. I have a bento box, but I, uh, I have a couple extra bento boxes, but I did something with them last week and I can't remember what I did. <laughs> I took them with me to my sister-in-law's and then I don't know what I did with them when I came back home. So, all right, so there we go. This is 26 grams of protein. Protein in the shake. My shake, guys, is not slim fast anymore. It's keto chow modified keto chow but keto chow so i'm really finding ways to incorporate it here's here's what i did though you could take these and you could decide what you want in them if you wanted to chop peppers and cucumbers and mix in some parsley or some cilantro or whatever and sprinkle a little bit of your seasoning on it you could have a savory protein snack and still keep it keto you'd be perfectly fine just go for the higher fat you know obviously if you're doing keto if you're not doing keto and you're doing some modified version of keto or whatever it is you're doing, oh, that's coming along just lovely. Sure, I just splattered myself. I just want to make sure that we are not pink. That one has still got some pink in it. We'll let that one go a little bit. Here's what I did. This is meal prepped, okay? So I have blueberries in this container. I, to this, I will add about a third of a cup. Then I have strawberries prepared in this container. I will add this. I'm gonna do three fruits. And thirdly is, and this is the one you'd be like, no, pineapple. There it is, guys. It is pineapple. So I add enough fruit to be about a cup's worth of fruit total. So probably a third, a third, a third is what I'm getting. I'm eating my rainbow throughout the day. As you can see here, I've got the, you know, the dark purple blueberry, oxymoron, the bright red strawberry. Uh, I was going to buy fresh. I usually do, but they looked terrible at the store. And I bought frozen pineapple chunks, and I put them all in the container. They're thawed out. They're ready to measure out. Um, this is satisfying. It's filling. It takes care of my sweet tooth in a healthy way. So I, will, I won't obviously add them to this at the moment because I don't want it to blend and make an ugly flavor, weird colors. So, but this is what I do. This would be my third meal. I have a keto chow shake, which I did have this morning. My salad with my chicken and my dressing. Uh, this afternoon, late this afternoon, I will eat one of these containers. And then you're like, well, what else? I don't necessarily need dinner because I'm really not hungry. I am pretty darn full. That's crazy, right? Now. These tongs, there we go. Let's get that going there, that one side. So here's some other ideas. If you do want to eat something else, I made up some marinara yesterday. 
So it's just, you know, spaghetti sauce. It's ground beef, tomatoes, uh, bell, bell peppers, mushrooms, onions, your typical garlic. I made this sauce up. Simple ideas. Here is some steamable. If you don't want to use your zoodler and, and do your own zucchini noodles, you can definitely make your own. You could use spaghetti squash if you wanted to. For me personally, guys, I had gluten-free pasta last night. And it was, it was pretty delicious. It was kind of weird, but it was kind of delicious. But depending on where you're at, you could have your pasta alternatives. You can still do, you know, food. But I found doing things this way, I didn't really need to eat heavy. My weekends were more about enjoying myself a little bit, um, but keeping it like this, eating alternative things, uh, adding a lot of vegetables, keeping those vegetables going seven days a week, keeping the protein going seven days a week. Um, my evening consisted of, when I was losing a pound a day, my evening consisted of gluten-free crackers, either Crunch Master or the Blue Diamond almond crackers. There we go, so I really get some good color there. Um, Laughing Cow Cheese. So I'd get a, a little plat, a plate, and I'd put my crackers and my cheese, and I would put some grapes, or I would put some summer sausage, or some prosciutto, or whatever, little meat I wanted. Just a, a small saucer, not a big plate. And I would make myself that, and I would make me a double tall vodka in my big tumbler. And that would, that would be my night. Once a week, I would go out to Mexican restaurant, Mexican food restaurant, and have like fajitas, minus the tortillas, minus the rice, minus the beans, and I would just really focus in. Um, but I did allow myself one day a week of indulgence, so long as I kept it gluten free. Sorry, my nose just went to tickling. Wow, that was a huge tickle in my nose just now. So, oh, uh, let's see here. That's not going to hold that. I'm just going to get this. I'll get a, a different dish out later. You can cut these, portion them out, weigh them out if you want. I'm going to get some more chicken going. If anybody's got any questions, you're more, feel free to to ask this might not be your cup of tea it is what it is for those of you who are going to be watching this on YouTube because I will download this and upload this over there you know just leave a comment below this marinade smells wonderful by the way it smells delish and that's a lot of chicken and I feel pretty happy that it was only uh, $4.57. There we go. This is weird. It's, it's, this is strange because it is not showing any comments whatsoever. It only keeps showing that Rita is watching. I'm glad I'm not paranoid. For real. I'm glad I'm not paranoid. Um, let's talk about how I do my keto chow real quick. You guys. Um, I'm going to taste my chicken. Okay. Juicy. Good flavor. Not bad at all. Mm. It's like pick a flavor, any flavor, right? I chose peanut butter cup today. And I will tell you guys real quick. Um... There's a flavor I wanted to discuss if I have any. If I have any left, let's look to the back. I love the pina colada. Adore, adore, adore. Dang it. Maybe I used it. And guys, it was the orange mango. Good lord, it's tasty. All right, apparently I've, I've had all of that I can have. So, because I was drinking a shake every morning and I was only probably getting like 10 grams of protein at the time, maybe 12, I know the slump ass shakes are full of terrible ingredients and they're not even that high protein, but they're chock full of sugar too. Um, 
I have plenty of keto chow, obviously. Those are just my single packets. I've got the big bags up in my cabinet. And today, my husband and I had our, we started our day off with keto chow. Um, to bump up the protein, I did, let's see, how did I do it? I made two shakes. All right, so one and a half cups of water is what I used. Um, two cups of ice, one scoop of chocolate peanut butter, keto chow, um, a quarter cup of my egg white protein powder, which was 16 more grams of protein, and one tablespoon of avocado oil. That was it. it. It works out really well. I used water, the flavor was still great. One tablespoon of fat gives it really yummy flavor, which is 14 grams of fat. Um, and then my keto chow shake with all of its nutrition in it, that Slim Fast couldn't touch with a 10 foot pole. Ah, there we go. Uh, let's see. Did you pound your chicken flat? I did pound all my chicken flat, hon. I did that at the beginning of this live. So um, I'm still getting a, a nice full shake because I filled it up and it was clear up to here, y'all. I used my blender to obviously make two of them. But yeah. So I'm getting a high protein, low fat, lowered fat um, first meal. I'm having a shit ton of vegetables. Yes, I said shit ton of vegetables and protein with fat sparing. I'm sparing the fat. At, at midday, mid lunch, whatever, I'm doing my fruit and, and cottage cheese um, at early, early afternoon, late afternoon, early evening. And then if, and if, and that's not a necessary if, I want something, it would be very small. It would be like celery and cream cheese or gluten-free crackers and and laughing cow cheese. And that's if I want it. And I'm not a cocktail person every night. I've, I've probably only had four cocktails in three months, two months. So, how much protein are you eating a day? I'm looking at trying, to, I'm averaging probably about 120 to 130. I'm striving for more than that, but at this point, it's just difficult for me to get 140, 150 grams of protein in. Unless I was just sitting down and eating gigantic portions, but I don't feel good when I do that. Like this, y'all, like this, this chicken breast right here, it's the size of a freaking ribeye steak. <laughs> Think about it, is chicken, is supposed to, a chicken breast, a half a chicken breast supposed to weigh that much? So no, I, I, I can't do that, but I, I try to make it work with, oh, this is got to go like this. I'm gonna spin it out even more. I do what I can with it because I can only take so much protein in one serving. Um, and that's it. That's what I'm doing. As we get closer to, to August 1st, this is, we'll see where I'm at with doing what I'm doing. I'm, I'm cutting my carbs back. I am allowing myself a carb day. If I want to, I'm telling y'all right now, if I want to incorporate some uh, black beans or corn or potatoes, some brown rice, some something like that into my, into my way of eating, I'm definitely gonna do it. I'm gonna let you guys know what I'm doing. But you know, I was thinking I, I love Southwestern salads and occasionally, you know, I will, I will do that because it's not that much. I'm putting, you know, a little bit of maybe a, a half a cup total of a mixture of, of uh, corn, black beans, tomatoes, pico, you know, you make that little mixture and you just put across the top of your salad. Uh, yeah. Just, I'm just gonna let you know what I'm doing. But this is my main thing right now and I plan on continuing it. Um, I'm giving myself a minimum of two weeks. I did it for 30 days before, it was wonderful. Um, any, any type of response I get will be amazing if I get any type of response because um, I haven't been so lucky in that department. Yes, please keep us posted how it goes. Prayers, it works for you. Thank you, sweet Rita, thank you. All right, guys. Um, if there's no questions or anything like that, um, I'm gonna bounce out. I'm gonna keep cooking. I've got to, it's 1230. I'm thinking we've got to get this done and out of the way so that I can uh, get ready to go this afternoon. I need to find out what works for me. Yes, Wendy, I want people to not feel guilty. Um, you did not get overweight eating 
a black bean corn tomato mixture. Eat what feels right. Have a great day. Thank you guys. Thank you. Yes. I sure will. You guys do the same. Okay. Have a blessed day. Do you boo? <laughs> oh shoot. I made a mess. I got to go. Bye.